So I'm using a tankless air compressor. I piped into the vacuum side. The pressure would normally come out of here. I just put these back on to silence it a little bit. So, you know, wired at your own risk. So I've tied these together, you know, with some half inch or ID vinyl hose. That seems to work okay. Not going very far. So what I've got going is my vacuum line comes down and it first thing I do is I teed off to an automotive vacuum gauge. Now when I'm milking, I'm usually from around 9 to 12 on there. And that works fine. So this next part it goes into is my pulsator. And I'm only using two in, uh, inflations, so I just have two lines coming off of it. And when this thing is in operation, these go back and forth, and they will pulsate on-off vacuum to make my inflations pulsate like a baby goat would be nursing. From here, I go into my, basically this is a collector just in case anything acts against accidentally get sucked up. I don't want any milk going up in here. So I'm coming down for the bottom of my pulsator, go into my jar, there's nothing in it. And then, so the vacuum sucks through this. So my vacuum hose here, I'm only milking two goats. They're not very good milk goats. So I got a gallon jar, drilled a couple of holes in the top on here. And I just got a couple of, uh, Threaded adapters to hold them in, a couple of conduit nuts on there, a little piece of rubber. Um, so, you know, this has got a lid. If you like, something gets away from you and you got to relieve the vacuum right quick, you can flip it up. So, keep that down. I keep this thing here closed, of course. So, you've got your suction tube coming from your jar. I tee off, it's the big one. I tee off my suction tube, and it's going to go to the bottom of these. So my inflation tubes goes here, the milk will go through here. And this inflation here will pulsate. So I'm going to turn this on and I'll show you what I mean. Because this pulsator has to work. So you can see it pulsate. I've got good vacuum in these right now. You can see them actually moving a little bit. But once they get vacuum on them, It'll really get to going. And as I build that vacuum, if I was on a goat, I'd be getting milk. So, maybe that's a better video. Thanks for watching.